So guys, we are heading down there near the river with my uncle here. Uh, we are going to look after these goats. These are uh, his goats. So guys, this is how uh, plowing is done using cows. Hello guys, what's up? Good morning. This is Jemo here. I'm doing fine on and if I'm doing fine, you should also be doing fine. So today um, we are now going to look after these gods with uh, my uncle. So stay put. Brian is there. He's already holding the... What are you talking about? Bakora. This is used for whisking away the, the, the gods. So, so guys, we are heading down there near the river with my uncle here. Uh, we are going to look after these goats. These are uh, his goats. Uh, right now it's around uh, 10.30. Isn't Buzi's gozote? Oh, Eh, no, this is Bunguza. Is it going to be a good one? Eh, it's going to be a good one. Us, the three of us now going to look after these gods until 1 p.m. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like these videos, make sure you comment on these videos. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment below this video, and uh. Don't forget to share the video. Yeah, just click the share button. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, right now the subscribe button is red in color. Make sure you click on it. Just click on it and turn on the notifications bell. So that every time I upload a new video, you will be notified about it. Oh. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading these videos uh, in a serious way so make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so that you won't miss even a single video so all of these we used to, 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 to cultivate this farm for uh we used to have sugar cane here but right now the uh, farm does not belong to us Zimende apa? So the goats are already ahead of us. They know where we are heading to Nyapa. Yes. So guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, comment. Huh? Okay, okay. Comment, comment, comment. Drop a comment below this video. And uh, I promise you more videos, videos after videos. So we are going to say hi to one of my grandmothers around here. Hey! Guys, do you know these fruits? Eish! Do you know them? Uh, we call them fenesi here. These ones. Look at this one. Hey! Look at this one. It's already ripe. It's ready for eating. Wow, the best part about uh, life in the villages. Nya nya, nya nya. What are you doing? Oh well, ah. Nya je? Hey, I'm I'm going to come Cuba, ban. Eh? Ah. We just want to come Cuba, sana. Hey. We just want to come to the village. We just want to come Ah, we are just manu. Ah, that means manu. Kufa kupona na yo. 
Tukiwapiga watu kiburi itaisha leo. Kama huyu wa Arsenal huyu. Huyu jamaa wa Arsenal huyu. Goja utaona leo kwanza ni 1-0 mimi naona hivyo. Mimi naona 1-0. Hii ni kikuja hapa last time kweli ilikuwa? Oh. Oh. Mwezi wa pili? Kumi. Oh. Meaning December nikikuja huko ilikuwa. Lakini December si kutembea huko chini sana. Tulikuja hapa tu kaa leo tena tukaenda kesho. Gari liharibika ikatuwestia siku mingi sana. Kwa mm. njia. Eh na Fenesi ziko hapa. Si mchezo. Hii eh, sawa na fiekanga hizi vitu bwana. Nani? Ah. Ni <laughs> <laughs> Eh. 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 Sasa hii ngumu kupata ta fenesi kwa mtu kama imepandwa. Ngumu sana. Adi 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 zimbo za madanga bwana. Are you no mtinga sana? Habari zenu? sana. Eh na umekuwa mkubwa siku hizi pia wewe. Eh. Ndabu kabeleka mahali ka. Arudi ndabu kufanyika. Ah. Sana. <laughs> Sasa Eh kama hizo Guys, uh, we are just from um, one of my grandfather's cousin here. We just went to say hi. So right now we are heading down there. The goats are just uh, right in front of us there. They have been eating from this farm. Uh, so guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and comment. Just drop a comment. Um, drop a comment with any suggestions uh, with what we should cover, or what you want to know about us. And... Um, yeah, Chris. Chris. Uh, so guys, this is th three of us. This is my uncle Mark. Uh, despite being my uncle, he has, he has been one of my best friends because we used to hang out. Just the two of us. We used to, 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 to walk together. We used to disturb people in the village uh, together. We used to go to Disco Matangas <laughs> together. <laughs> we used to dance. So, Brian is also here. Huh? Yeah, let me let me show you something interesting here. Buni ni cave hii. Hizi ngombe zikilima so watu wajue vile ngombe wao zinalima hii area. Sinaweza ingilia hapa. Eh, ni aje? Anko Remi. Poa sana. Eh, naona mko kazi bwana. Lazima kazi itembee. Na si, kuna siku walitufanyanga nyumbani pia. Mm. So guys, this is how uh, people use uh, cows. Plow. It is called an ox plow because uh, you know the, the, the male cow is called an ox. Uh, in pl plural, uh, ni oxen. Yeah, it's okay. oxen. Yeah. So the ox plow, meaning that plowing uh, tool, it is meant for the oxen or the ox. So right now they are using the male cows to, to pull it while it is tilling the farm. Uh, actually it's now plowing the, the farm, not tilling. It's plowing. So the other in So the, the uh, you know it is the planting season right now. You can see they just the, want some small trenches. Yeah, small trenches whereby they will just plant the seeds here and then uh they cover, they cover the, the, the seeds using this soil so this 
veggies are for planting of maize, maize and, beans. and beans. So they will plant here maize and beans. You can see there are a lot of trenches. This is how ca cows um, use the ox plow to. They either use it to plow the farm or uh, they also call it uh, farrowing. Yeah, making these are uh, the these trenches, small trenches, these small trenches. Hey, then he commit up. Ah yeah, I may I may I invest sana. So guys, this is how things are done here. If you can't afford a tractor, then you use these guys. They are cheaper than tractors. In fact, uh, their price is a quarter of uh, prices for, uh, for tractors. Yeah. And these hogs in here, from here the lot eat a small cow. Yeah. They do a lot of work. So guys, this homestead belongs to one of the teachers that taught me uh, in class 8. She has really done a good work. She has invested. I think um, she's very smart. You see that house? That's a mansion. Yes. Isn't you? Yes. Yeah. A very beautiful house. And it is very big. Uh, the teacher used to teach me Swahili. Yeah. And uh, no, no, no. She taught us only Kiswahili in class eight, and we performed. She was very nice. She used to call uh, the boys Waze Wakazi. So guys, I will be making reveals. I will show you um, all the steps that uh, I will follow to have the house complete. Uh, the house, it will be a very good house. It will be the um, the retiring house. Brown has it angaje. Iso boma zanyamuto na retire na zo. Retire house, I think. Because uh, that is where my mother will get old. Huh? Now she has to get her back to her house and um, do some small businesses. Just managing them, not doing. So I will put some business for her. Um, she has really worked hard. So guys, I hope you remember these trees. I showed you these trees uh, a few days ago. We are here again. You see, so many trees. I remember the first time I I tried to ride a bicycle. We came here to fetch water. There is a certain spring down there. 
So we came to fetch water here and uh, using a bicycle we could uh, my uncles could give us the bicycle so that uh, we teach ourselves how to carry water and pass through this small uh, food path. But we, we were using bicycles. So the first time uh, it was very interesting but uh, it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy actually because um, I didn't know how to ride a bicycle well. So I rode this way, then hit one of the trees there with my wrist, with my fist. You know, you hold a bicycle like this. So I went and hit my hand just uh, on the tree while holding the, the bicycle like this. I felt like my bones were broken here, but I was okay. It was just the pain inflicted by that impact of hitting the trees. You see, we have some chicken inside here. And they are very safe. Try this in Nairobi at your own risk. They'll be eaten. So, uh, we are back to another part, another side. The goats are just right there. Oh, yeah, Nyaje. Where do you go? Pita. so guys, uh, the boy is a brother to some of my friends that we schooled with. We went to the same school and actually the oldest sister, um, the oldest sister, just a minute, I'm going through the, some bushes here. So guys, I was saying, um, we schooled with uh, in the same class with uh, the oldest sister and uh, right now the sister is in Nairobi as I've been told. Yeah. So that's it, you know, we have to, 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 to know each other, we have to greet each other, we have to to know how um, our old classmates or friends are doing right now. Because uh, it's been so many years, so many years, uh, I think around 11, 12 years right now. So we have to, to, to know how they are faring on. Yeah, because sometimes um, you can't say just this person is a friend eh? or a schoolmate, yet you don't know how they are doing. You have to know that. So that's it. The goats are around here. We have uh, an old man there also looking after his cattle. Uh, this farm, sweet potatoes. Yeah, it belongs to my grandfather who stays uh, just beyond those bananas. Yeah. You see the brown roof in those trees there. There, and uh, he has another wife beyond, uh, be just be right behind the, these uh, bananas. Uh, the grandfather was blessed with a lot of land right from there, up to, uh, up there, up to those trees there, down there, uh, up to the river. The river is down there, be beyond, uh, let me zoom in. Do you see those houses, those two houses, actually three. I'm seeing three roofs, one, two, three. 
behind them it is uh, his farm and um, where we are now standing here uh, it was a sweet potato farm uh, here people like sweet potatoes a lot you know why because uh, um, sweet potatoes are normally grown to curb to, to curb hunger during the dry seasons because sweet potatoes they are now surviving in this dry dry land uh. right now we know we don't have the rains the rains are uh, just uh, about to come so um, after harvesting maize in august and uh, some of them also harvest rain, uh, maize in uh, december yes. most people normally rush to plant uh, sweet potatoes so when they plant sweet potatoes they will be on a safe side uh, when hunger strikes when uh, they called uh, they call uh, even though right now in kenya we don't have famine in these areas uh, famine is in northeastern yeah northeastern mostly mostly in northeastern and northern northeastern. kenya but right here we just um, experience a short dry season so during that time people <laughs> prefer to plant uh, sweet potatoes this is a this is a sweet potato vine but right now here they have been dug out you can see let me show you something you see these ones but these ones are small that's why they have been left here uh, they take the big ones these these ones are very small but the red ones are very sweet the red ones are very sweet that's why they call them sweet potatoes the white ones are not good but uh, the red ones are very sweet yeah yeah this is the white one you see this one this is the white one let me let me let me show you a comparison uh just here let me place them here so you see these two this is the red one the white one the red ones are very sweet. These ones are very sweet. The white ones are not uh, that sweet. So people love uh, these ones, the red ones. You can even eat, eat this one uh, raw and cooked. They are very sweet. So right now, like now, I'm going to eat this one. And I'm not going to wash it. No need to do that. That's the life in the village. You just... Uh, yeah now let, let's see my uncle has just gotten some big ones here yeah very good now these are the big ones you see them these two these are the big ones the red ones but the white ones are not is it as a white what were painted as yeah the red ones they only take uh, two months to be ready but the white ones are three months they are the red ones uh, it took only two months to get ready, to mature, to be ready, uh, to be ready for uh, being eaten. You see, let me show you something. You see inside here, we have the red one here. You see, but the mo most the good ones have already been dug out. Right now they are in the toilets, probably. So, let me show you how I'm eating this. So guys, I've already grabbed one. Um, no washing. Just proceed with it. Huh? The stomach itself will wash it. We have some good enzymes in my stomach. But don't try this if you have... If you are used to a, a soft life, you won't make it. You will have some stomach upsets until you sing hallelujah. Raw sweet potato from the farm. Niaje? Vivi. Hey, you're using tam. Yeah. Sana. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Mm. 
And the best part about um, harvesting sweet potatoes is, apart from getting the sweet potatoes for eating, the vines also are used as um, animal feed. You see, like that. He's getting that for either cows or goats or sheep. And uh, it's very good for cows. If you are milking, if you have the cow that you are milking, these are the best food, food, uh, feeds actually for the cows. Yeah. And the sweet potatoes actually, uh, I saw in some countries they use these to to process, to, to, uh, process sugar. Or there are some special um, potatoes that are used to to make sugar and like for us we use sugar. sugar cane this is sugar cane these all this is sugar cane but these ones are the young ones they're still growing so this is how sugar cane looks like all of this farm right from that point all the way all the way all the way all the way to that very end yeah. Sweet potato can also be processed to make porridge flour. It is very nutritious, very sweet for kids. You don't need sugar. To you don't need sugar inside that porridge. You just make the porridge and that's it. Everything is ready. Hey, you see me up? You want to go up on an affair? You like to go to the doctor? You want to doctor? John. So, guys. You see uh, that big tree there? They call it mukuyu. Oak. So we used to to hunt uh, birds using catapults. I used to make my kills there. I even used to kill um um what are they called? The uh, wild pigeons. Yeah, the wild pigeons from that tree there. In the last video of video you were around the river, we saw some some people they touch me not plant. Yeah, yeah. We also have this one here called forget me not plant. Yeah, yeah. forget the, me not. Yeah, the fruits have some like something like hooks, mm -hmm. spikes, when you, spikes. When you walk around, uh, they attach in your cloth. Like That's this. why they call them forget me not. So you, can't you walk around, them. they'll just attach to your clothes or when the cows and the goats and the sheep feed, they usually attach at their fur. Yeah. Or the cows and the goats. You see them. That is just, uh, scientifically, it's a pollination. It's a pollination process. So when they attach at your clothes or the furs of the animals, you will drop them another in another place and that's how they will grow. Yes. Just a pollination. Mm -hmm. Okay, human beings are the polline pollination agents. Yeah. Yeah. And now the, uh, that one is called human pollination or animal pollination. Yeah. Both human and uh, animal. Because when animals are grazing, that is animal pollination because they carry these seeds from one point to another. And for us, they stick to our clothes we get to another point, we remove them, throw them, and they start growing. <laughs> so right now, uh, you see that homestead? One of my grandmother is also there. Now there, that homestead there, is, uh, it is my grandfather that owns all of this land where we are standing in. Actually, the grandfather is called uh, Faris.
thousand years later. Hello guys, so right now it is 12 p.m. 12.01 p.m. in the afternoon. We are still seated here while watching uh, the goats. The goats are um, right in front of us there. Uh, they are grazing there. We are still here, the three of us. So this is how uh, it normally goes down uh, while looking after cattle or goats or sheep. So it's uh, it's not your time to go to uh, to go back home. They have to feed until 1 p.m. Until 1 p.m. so that uh, we can take them back home. They get to drink water there. And then uh, they'll be tied at home there. So right now, I go maximum. I go mezima. Ni mesia tu tu tu. Sununa sununa zima amana. Ona mitangu juzi. Chagua ulo mevati shoyingi na kali apa na na simu ni nimba. Simu na liya tu 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 tu. Imagine. Na yote shoyi na kaka kali bon. Pita. Hey moto. Moto. Samuel. Yote shoyi ni kali sa na yote si amchezo yote. Hey. Na simu, simu ni kali? Hey, simu ni moto. Hiyo simu unaashia kijiti. <laughs> eh? Ndio wale kilo roho ngule simu. Ara. Lazima simu ufinye na kijiti ndio ndio power button uingize kijiti ndani. <laughs> Lazima udunge kwa kijiti hivi ndio kaamuke. Eh. Hey. Eh. Ndio kaishtu. Nimesikia kama tu 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 tu. Bwana roho acha kafai. Naona yangu bado iko iko around 89. Hmm. Tangu hiyo morning yote. Mimi tangu juice, tangu tu kwa Samuel. Mchele simu tena na Samuel. Telefoni nyingine kwa sahi. Na ina record videos. Unajua uko record video na kuna moto sana. Bwana. Mhm. Nunua simu bwana. Oh, sio muungu le simu. Si uko na watoto wawili. Eh. Uuza mmoja, nunua simu. Wewe ndio utauza. Kwanza kwanza mimi najua mahali roho iko, wisdom. Tu 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 kwanza wisdom tunauza yeye unanunua simu. Ama ama uuze hiyo boma hapo watu washangae kesho wanakuja kuhamishwa wewe amjaambiwa ni nini shuka 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 bwana toka toka hapa shuka hili unapata hapo unauza boma unauza boma yote unapewa pesa alafu unaenda kina kina ngo vipo atakutafuta ngo usiku na mchana eh 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 lakini mimi naona watu wanafanyia hivyo watu Ati mtoto anauza boma bila kuambia. Hey, Unakuja tu hivi. Unakuja tu hivi mnahamishwa kwa boma yenu bila yeah. kujua. Mnashangaa kwa kumeendaje? Wewe ah kaka kitu mahali tulichotaka maji hapa chini ndio ana kalikauka. Eh, hey, kingine tulikuja huko chini na Brian na Cynthia. Ni kukauka tu juni mbona mpaka hata vitu zimemea hapo ndani? Ndio yeah. hmm. mtangarao kwenye mtanga hivyo tafunika. Oh ni shangaa bana hiyo kitu kwa nini likauka eh kabu cha inayo maji tu inatoka hata sahi bado na ni safi smart bana ah hiyo maji ni mzuri bana unajua hapo lazima mali inatokanga hapo hivyo mmm unaona ona vinye kuku mmm ana huwa anafika fika tu hiyo place sahi ni kusafi wamefika huko kuna kaa vizuri sana wataweza kuomba vizuri yeye jua ni kali sivyo kama mnaona mirage hapo mbele Ijua ni kali. Bado mzuri sasa kutoka 1500 1500 mbili. Original mzuri. Eh hey, hiyo ya line si moja. Hadi 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 kamera inaona hiyo mirage. Hiyo jua ni kali sio mchezo. Eh? Hey. Kamera pia inaona hiyo kitu hiyo vile inafanya hivyo. Acha. Mm. Na yona. Ii. Angalia. Na nimezoom. Ngoja one. Nani kienda hivyo? Mm. Ukiangalia hapa chini ndio utanotice hiko. Nilibai na tuke. Hata kombe mimi nachungia unipe hii simu bwana. Nichungie kwa tumbuzi bwana. Nikienda ndomo wa. Unaweza kia speaker huko umeconnect wa. Ni hapo kuja fanya wiring kwa hiyo ambao weke speaker huko speaker huko speaker huko speaker. Kazi yako ni kuongelea tu hapa tu. Wa. Pita huku. Ni narudi. Tumbuzi nasikia ni kama uko hapo. Reno, na inasikia tu ni kama uko hapo kanda yake. Nimezoom hii boma. Hii boma iko mbali unaiona mpaka dirisha. (laughs) 
huko ndani kuna kwa kivuli mzuri eh yeah. hey, pinas zina mema mpaka zinakuwa kubwa hivi pinas huko si ndio hiyo hapo ah ini muti ngine hii ini lena testing kama ina testing kama nini ah bango mako hiyo ni pinas sawa nini pinas hiyo hii ya pili hiyo pinas hapa ilikuwa tu moja na sijui ndio Acha maybe hiyo ndilikuwa the, the, the best time ya kukuja. Mm. Imekuja kama tumechanuka. Yeah, tumelanki. Otherwise maybe tunge make mistakes. Tented na wana make very smart moves na plans. Eh. Anajua sana. Pesa ngoma kwa kunga shop. Ah. Nikabaki na around 75,000 kwa hiyo. Nikalipa nyumba mm. nyumba kwa mwaka kwa mwezi 11,000. Mm. Nikalipa no ilikuwa 44. Sinilipa na deposit. Ulilipa 33 hiyo siku. Nilikuwa nime alafu mimi sitaki shamba konde hivi. Nataka shamba pana. Wewe watoto wangu bak nyinyi. Sasa hapo ndani nyinyi. Alafu kitu kingine nataka kufanya. Karua nataka tutufanyie vitu zote mara moja. Hapo ni mbaki. Huko tumjengee matofali. Hiyo town. Ni hapo mtarimu. Ama tukuje tunene tu matofali. Unajua matofali. Jamani ndio anapiga hesabu. Matofali ni chipi. Unaweza kuona kwamba tungepata shamba ni kuna mchana mzuri kama yenye ile plot ngofu pale ya kuambia akakaa pale mbele. Hapo mali hiyo mchanga inaweza limwa, walevelize mali. Lakini mimi nataka tu kununua matofali. Hiyo mpya yake. Hii sasa hivi hapo nini? Hii kamba ilikata. Ilikata ina kama shiba ama ipi iko na ball zote iko na ball eh ngobenjali safi ona ona 